Hello everyone, this is Connor Quinlan from Summit Design Studio. Just want to go over some definite things you need to do in Google Places to optimize your business in Google. So Google Places, if you're not familiar, is that place we used to call Google Maps, sort of, or Google Local. It's called Google Places now. This is the red pinpoint listings you see in a lot of localized searches, like Lewisburg PA restaurants. So the first thing you want to make sure you're doing is asking customers to review you. Very simple. So you want to make sure you have a program where you, you know, when people come in and they, you know, are finished with service, you give them some sort of card that lets them know where they can review you. Um, you have, a, you know, in your signature in your email, you have it um, at the front desk at checkout. It's on the, you know, their little comment card at a restaurant, things like that. So you want to get reviews, period, and you should be getting reviews on a regular basis. The next thing you want to do is re elicit reviews from multiple sources. So don't just send everyone to your Google Places page. You also want to send people to other locations. Like, let's look here. The Country Covered restaurant has 18 reviews, none of which came from Google itself. So they got a lot of other locations like Insider Pages and Urban Spoon, but they never actually got any on Google Places itself. So that's a no-no. Lewisburg Hotel, for example, has a large number of reviews and they have a mixture of you know Yahoo insider pages and actual Google reviews so you want to spread it out and send people to different locations but if you notice only if you have Google reviews do you actually get these yellow stars so although Country Covered has a lot their listing doesn't stand out as much in my mind because it's missing these yellow stars so let's step on to the next piece you do want to encourage frequent reviews but don't get a ton on one day Google sees a bunch of reviews on a single day as a likely scam or some sort of stuffing so just try to spread them out make them frequent consistent every couple days every other day get reviews um, now obviously if you're passing this out to customers you can't control that um, and they may review a bunch on the same day but just keep that in mind you do want to give incentives when requesting reviews you shouldn't be bribing people but you know you may be giving a free coupon and then recommending that they review you but you know you're not bribing people you're just wanting to sort of give some sort of incentive um, to people you do want to respond to reviews especially if they're negative you know be the better person provide a nice you know uh, professional response inside of Google replaces um, and you know it's also a great way for you to interact with your customers do use your official name in the title of your Google Places listing. Don't use a variation on your name with other keywords or phone number. Use your actual business name. You do also want to get a Google tag. Let me give you an example of a Google tag. If you type in, um, here's a business. Here is a Google tag. These cost $25 a month from Google. You can use a video, a coupon, posts, um, a menu, um, a number of different items. So for example this company has a Google tag that is a coupon for ten dollars off. These are great ways to make your listing jump out besides reviews which have yellow color. These tags people online are looking for coupons and discounts so get those. Um, the next piece we want to look at is do post to your places listing. What that means is Google actually provides you a tool now where you can go into your place page and edit it and when you're in there you can actually go in and post updates to your actual listing okay so let me give you an example here um, if you go right into your page and you're logged in you can post stuff that will actually show up on your places page so it's kind of a little mini Twitter of sorts the next piece that you want to do is do get 10 reviews in the first two weeks let's be aggressive and get going on this and do use keywords in the details and description fields when you're filling out your Google places listing that's all for now tune into the next video which is do definite things you don't want to do in Google places